what's up you guys and welcome back to another YouTube video during this quarantine I've been trying to keep busy with a lot of crafts and different kinds of entertainment and painting is a big one for me I love to paint but lately painting on a canvas is getting kind of boring as you saw in my last video, I painted my wall, so now that I've done that, why not just paint other objects besides a canvas? I've seen it a lot on the internet, people painting their hydro flasks, and I've always wanted to give it a try. But the only thing is that hydro flasks can be so expensive that I didn't want to waste a good hydro flask if I messed up painting on it. But now that I have multiple, and this one's kind of seen its days, I wanted to give it a try. So today, I want to show you guys how I paint my hydro flask. And then I also want to give kind of a little tutorial of how to do these little keychains on the lid of my hydro flask. Cause I just think it kind of spruces it up and makes it kind of cute. As usual, I am drawing a sketch before painting and then transferring it to the water bottle. Here's me transferring. And then here's the final product. I also added some stars for the background. These are the two paint colors I'll be using for Bibble and also some brushes. I'm mixing a light blue with a turquoise blue to get the perfect color. For the water bottle itself, I'm using acrylic paints that can be found at Michael's. And now I'm just taping over the hydro flask portion because I wanted it to show in the end. So while the first layer on Bibble is drying, I'm going to start on the background, which is my stars. I'm just going to be painting the stars white, so that way if I wanted to change the color of the stars, I can easily do that. And it gives it a nice base coat for the stars as well. I just finished the second layer on Bibble and the first layer of stars. And so now I'm going to do probably a third or even fourth layer on Bibble just because it's looking a little patchy. And then of course I'm gonna do more layers on the stars. So it's the next day and I just finished painting the water bottle. Here's what it looks like. And now I'm going to take you guys through a tutorial of how to do the little keychains that I showed you in the intro. In this video, I'm just going to show you guys one tutorial of how to do a simple bracelet. I'm going to be doing a chevron design and then I'm also going to be adding other keychains to the water bottle but if you would guys like a video of how I do some of the different designs that I'll show you in the end leave a comment down below and I will be happy to make a video on those as well but for now let's get into part two A good way to start your keychain is to select your colors. In this case, I chose colors that matched Bibble. Here, I'm just sizing my string, which usually I do to about an arm and a half length. Then, obviously, I'm cutting it. 
And here is an important step. I'm just matching up my other strings to the size of the first string, just to make it a little bit easier. Now I'm looping my strings around my hydro flask lid and just tying them in a simple knot once I get them to even lengths. Then I tie a double knot to make sure it's secure. After that, you should have two even sides of string. To start the first portion, I put the other half of the string aside and begin a basic braid. Once I'm finished braiding, I complete the side with a knot to ensure the braid doesn't come apart. And then I trim the ends. To start the chevron portion, you'll first want to separate your strings into two even groups. Once you do that, you want to grab the first two strands on the left side. Next, you're going to cross the first string on top of the second, creating a four pattern. Then you're going to reach into the four and pull the top string through. Once you've created your knot, you're going to pull the top string upwards. Then repeat the process with the same two strings to make a second knot. After that, repeat the entire process with all the strings on the left side. Now moving on to the right side. You'll find that the right side is extremely similar to the left. You're going to separate the first two strings like before and cross the string all the way to the right over the second string. Once you've done that, reach into the hole and grab the first string. And then pull upwards. Repeat this pattern again with the first two strings and then with the whole right side. Once you get to the middle, you want to make a double knot the way we did on the left side. After you've completed your chevron keychain, you can either tie it off with a knot like in our first strand, or just cut the strings to leave it fringed like I'm doing here. And of course, here's the finished product you all have been waiting for. Overall, I had a lot of fun making this video and creating my new Hydro Flask, and I'm glad that I can show you guys the process. To keep it short, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments about this video or suggestions for the next, leave them in the comments down below. And lastly, if you haven't already, a subscribe to this YouTube channel would be great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next week.